This right here, this could save your life, not the L, the sprouts. We're talking about sprouts in this video. The best way to integrate them into your emergency preps and your day-to-day -day life. Everybody, this is Praxis. In a recent video, which you can watch with a link right here, I was talking about three different plant-based pantry items that I suggested people should strongly take a look at and consider having in their own pantry. One of those items was sprouting seeds. And that's what I want to talk about in this video here is how I use my sprouting seeds. Because it's one thing just to buy a bag of seeds, but you don't like, you know, reach your hand into them and like throw them into your mouth like a bunch of potato chips. You gotta process them and uh, you know get them sprouting. And there's a couple different ways of doing that. I wanted to share just a couple of the basic ways here and specifically the way that I like, which is using these sprouting trays. Now, the real basic way that you can sprout uh, sprouting seeds is that you put them uh, in just some kind of a jar. Uh, this is a mason jar that has the regular kind of, uh, well, this is like not regular, this is the wide uh, mouth uh, mason lids. Uh, you can put some seeds in there, put some water in there, uh, let them sit for a little bit, and then you can just take a piece of cloth. And the reason I'm talking about this one first is this is really, really cheap. All you need is a jar, a cloth. In fact, I, I took this. This is from our bidet. This is from our butt wipes from the bidet. Uh, I want maybe I'll, I'll wash this drinking glass before I uh, put it back into circulation. Uh, but it's, re it's really inexpensive because the only other thing you need is just a canning uh, lid ring, and you can just use that to screw down the cloth. You kind of swish them around so all the seeds get wet. You leave them in there for, I don't know, like, I, I don't use this method, but I hear like, you know, 20 minutes, something like that. And then you just set it upside down somewhere and let them drain out. Now that's super, super cheap because you just got to pay for a jar, a ring, and a butt wipe. So uh, not a lot of cost goes into that. I like this method here, even though it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it has a lot of advantages over this. Uh, one is that when you're sprouting seeds in a jar like this, there's a real tendency, you don't have to do it, but there's a real tendency to make more than you need. And if you wanted to have like a certain amount of sprouts every day, like if you're going to have like a salad every day, or I do a salad wrap myself every day, uh, you would need to have one one jar for every day and they'd have to be like all sitting out on your counter and you put a small bit in this jar and then the next day you start a new set and the next day you start a new set and the next day you start a new set after five days the first jar is starting to be ready and then you use that and then you start some new ones that day and then the next day the the next jar that you started is ready so you can kind of cycle through them that way but a bunch of jars on your counter is going to take up a lot of space so what i like is this tower right here. And I'm gonna show you how I use this tower. Now, this is actually two towers. Uh, usually when you buy these things, uh, they come with these individual trays and they usually come with like four of them. I guess the idea is it usually takes four days for the seeds to start sprouting. Uh, and uh, you know, they'll give you four trays. I oftentimes find that I maybe need five days for the seeds to sprout or I wanna just, uh, you know, take a little time and wash my trays and give them some time to dry. Uh, so give me a little bit of extra flexibility. So I bought two sets of trays and they all nest together right here. So this is the procedure that I go through on a normal day when I want to make my salad wrap. First thing I do is I've got two bottoms here. So I will take uh, my trays and separate the ones that I'm just about to eat and take the ones I'm not gonna eat and put them off to the side over there. Now the ones that I'm just about to eat, uh, I'm gonna take them and just kind of pull them off from the side a little bit. Make a little place where, see it's starting to drip right there? There's always a little bit of water left in these things. So you wanna clear them from the side and tilt it so it can drip out. Now I don't wanna just stand here for five minutes letting the thing drip. So I usually like to uh, let it sit somewhere. You can do that in like a dish drying rack if you have like a dish drying rack next to your sink or a plant works really nice for that. And you're doing double duty, you're kind of watering the plant at the same time. Aloes are really great for this because they, well, you can see it fits right in there and it's drip watering that. Now you've got this extra water here and you can use this water to water your your plants just like that if you if you get a greenhouse behind you or you can water some of the plants in your house and now this thing is empty and it's ready to get more water these take two cups of water this particular set takes two cups of water if you buy your own uh, by the way I'm gonna put links in the description below uh, to you know, a set like this or this exact set uh, but you know you should check to see exactly how much each of these cups takes for you because when you refill them you're gonna want to make sure that you don't have it overflowing so these are the ones that I'm gonna be having tomorrow. I'm gonna to set those right on there. I've got two of these, these bases. 
So I'm going to put them in there. And, they, and I, don't, I, I, I don't really need to use this one. I just kind of use it because it's a convenient place to, uh, to put the sprouts as I'm kind of working back and forth. Now, all of these have little holes around the bottom of them. And these white ones on the bottom don't have holes on the bottom. So that's the difference between them. So uh, the next step is I need to start some new seeds. Now, I've got three that are empty up here. So I'm going to take this one here. And this is a bag of seeds. I don't work out of the bags though. This just stays in the pantry. I put seeds into a jar and I keep them in my refrigerator. This is just a regular, like I think I, pasta sauce came in this jar. So I'm gonna take this and I'll pour out just about a tablespoon or so. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, you know, whatever you think you might be craving in about five days time, <laughs> it's a little hard to, to judge, but I usually put about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more in there. I'll just set it there temporarily, close these guys back up, and then I would put these uh, immediately back into my refrigerator. Now, what some people might do is just take the water, and I've already measured out two cups in here. Uh, they just take the water and they just pour it right on the top, and that'll uh, start cascading through, and then you're pretty much done. But I do one extra step, which I find helps a little bit, is when you put a little bit of water on these guys, they kind of beat up, and they, like the surface tension of the water doesn't uh, you know, fully coat the seeds. So I just put a little bit in there first, and shake it around a little bit to just wet all the surface of the seeds. Then I put it on and then the other two cups go in. That goes off to the side. I'll take these other ones, just kind of put them on top there as a lid. And uh, you know, after a couple more minutes of this dripping, this goes right onto my salad wrap. And then tomorrow, I repeat the whole thing again. That's it, I hope you found this video helpful. I think sprouting seeds are a great prep that you can put in your pan uh, pantry because if there was ever an emergency situation and you know, you're not able to get fresh fruits and vegetables, it's a great way of being able to grow vegetables. They don't need the, you know, summertime outside, they don't need uh, sun. In fact, I keep these kind of in a shadier part of my house. I intentionally keep them away from sunshine. If you put them out in the sunshine, they'll get more chlorophyll in them. And there are nutrition benefits of that, but they develop kind of a stronger taste. So I I tend to like them if they have a little bit less of that strong taste. So you, you, know, you don't need the sun, you don't need the heat or anything, you can do it all inside your house. If you're thinking about a first pack of sprouts to get, I would suggest alfalfa seeds. I like alfalfa seeds, a lot of people like alfalfa seeds. One of the nice things about alfalfa is that it doesn't really have a really strong taste. Sometimes you get things like uh, broccoli sprouts or um, like mustard greens and things like that, and they can have kind of a sharp taste, and that's all right, but if you're just starting into it, these uh, alfalfa sprouts, they're a lot more like like a, a lettuce than they are like uh, arugula or, or something with a really strong taste. So if you're just gonna be tiptoeing your way into it, start with alfalfa and then kind of spread out from there. I know I've talked to a couple of people who have gotten these kind of trays and they mentioned that the water wasn't going through super fast. And I would just mention since I put this in, uh, all of the water is pretty much in this top tray still. Uh, the bottom has like maybe a centimeter in it and the third tray down, it's just starting to get a, a wetting going on in there. And so it really takes its time as it uh, propagates through all the different containers. When you first get the containers, uh, they may have some surface tension on them, uh, you know, from like if there's some kind of, uh, you know, from the manufacturing process, the plastic may have like a bit, little bit of an oily sheen on it. I would take them and I'd kind of scrub them out with some good soap and water. Uh, and the more that you use them, the less that surface tension is going to be an issue and the easier the water is going to flow through it. But I've had really great success with them. I think if you gave them a try, you'd have really great success with them. It's a really healthy part of your daily, everyday life. And it's a really great thing to have in an emergency. That's it. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe for new videos all the time, and if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so either through Patreon or PayPal.